Well, here he is, the one and only Marty Jones from Oldham, the world mid-heavyweight champion. Not a defense here this afternoon of his title because his opponent is not even in the weight bracket. He's well over a stone lighter. But his opponent, of course, is also an extremely well-known champion in the heavy middleweight bracket. And here he is, Mark Rollable Rocco from Manchester. 13 stone seven of Rocco. It's a long time since these two fellows have met. Mark Rocco wants to go already. So for this eight five minute round contest, two falls to the side, it's over to Lee Bamber, our MC, to introduce them. A tremendous clash of the world title holders. Eight five-minute rounds to decide. Two falls, two submissions, or the one knockout will decide the winner. Introducing to you the man currently standing in the red corner, the world mid heavyweight champion, from Oldham, Marty Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, the man standing between Marty Jones and Victory from the blue corner, the world heavy middleweight champion, Rollerball Rocco. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your referee for this contest from Liverpool, Mr. Frank Casey, and good luck to you. Frank Casey from Liverpool has got to look after Mark Rocco in not an easy job, especially when he takes on Jones. He's been waiting for this chance for a lot of years. We have seen them on television fighting each other, and it nearly always brought, uh, well, the two or three times I saw them over the years, brought a tremendous contest. Let's hope that this afternoon's no exception. And here we go, any second now, and that's the belt that Marty just threw down. And no bell yet, but they're gone. And there we get the final cry from the timekeeper. Seconds away, round one. After they've got through quite a few seconds fighting. So you can just see what, uh, how keen Rocco is to get at Jones, even before the bell goes. Frank Casey's got a job on here. Two world champions in the ring. Paul Nelson, Rocco. Marty Jones, the world mid heavyweight champion, and Mark Rocco, the world heavy middleweight champion. He's defended that a few times, but not as many times as Marty Jones has defended his. 15. Maybe a little difference of weight here, over a stone difference, but things like that don't worry Mark Rocco. Rocco, who's only just arrived here in time for this bout, about an hour and a half before he walked into the ring. He was in Paris last night, Lynch the night before, and six days in Zimbabwe the week before that. And this man, believe it or not, commutes for his wrestling dates between Monday and Friday in this country and abroad from Tenerife. That's where he lives now. Well, Casey's going to have to start dishing out public warnings if that continues. This man is not even anywhere near his feet. Try 
trying to weaken him early. <laughs> Through the ropes, Frank Casey trying to separate him. comes off the drum up with his tree. That single finger in the lock didn't no good at all, Jones. He's trying the hair now. Back elbow to the face. And now Jones pretty mad. Now Jones is pretty sore now. So Rocco backs away a little for the moment. Oh, 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 oh. So far, Rocco having quite a bit of his own way, but I cannot see it lasting. Not with Marty Jones in the opposite corner. <laughs> Half a minute to go, round one. And Jones taking his turn of throwing up. Rocco out now. Well, I don't think I've seen quite such a start to a bout as that five minutes there, that first round. Incredible start. Even before the, the bell went, they started. Jones, he'll cool down in a minute and settle the whole thing, having it his way. I'm sure he will, because he's a tremendous master at this game. And he's the heavier of the two today. Rocco spraying the, the water bottle all over the place just to put Rocco off, just to put jo Jones off. Got it into his eyes for the moment. is off and just the seconds of putting it on as quick as they can oh yes this is getting out of hand now and jones throws the corner cushioning away chases rocco out of the ring <laughs> meantime frank casey trying to separate them and make them behave we're going to be tricky Rocco finally back in, but Jones has hurt his left uh, ankle, I think, or knee. I'm not sure which it is, but he's having trouble. And, of course, Rocco goes straight for it when he can. Yes, point in the back of the neck. Beauty by Jones. That'll give him a little breather for a moment. Oh, will it? Got that, uh, I'm not sure which part of the leg is worrying Jones, but it's certainly the ankle or knee, but it's certainly worrying him. That double handed toe hold. Screams for Marty. He came for the double leg grab and he missed it. And it's Jones going underneath for a further press. 
almost bringing it off. Count of two only, though. Couple of minutes to go. Yeah. Yeah. Nice drop. But the follow-up illegal, and a public warning for it. Ladies and gentlemen, Rollabo Rocco receives his first public warning. And comes off the top rock, goes immediately after it to prevent Jones from getting up. Back to the temple there. Man the back. Not really a hole, but the, the head is locked. Not really much orthodox about this one, but uh, it's holding Jones there at the moment. Maybe he's trying to sleep her. Looks as though he is. Just a one minute to go. Jones really weakened recently. Less than two years ago, was in hospital with a, a really bad back, which he had an operation, which is apparently behaving very well at the moment, but most people would be out for the counter for that operation he had. Marvelous job the surgeon Second must have done. Away, round three. Round three, six to go, no score. One public warning against Rocco. Rocco, of course, on the left there, his usual red gear with the white stripes, starred boots, blue knee protectors. <laughs> really colorful character, this Rocco. And, oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to use that towel. Rocco gets out for a moment as he sees the look in Jones's eye. Thinks I'll stay away from here for a minute. Or until he turns his back. Back elbow, stomach. Oh, nice drop kick. Sliding drop kick. Well under the bottom rope. But twice in my life I've seen that one before. Really good. In one minute and eight seconds of round three, Marty Jones, the first fall. All the way back, and a folding press to Jones. He just leans back to take the weight, and that's it. Round three, and it's the first fall of the match to Marty Jones! Right, the end of round three. And his second round now, the start of the last five rounds, and Rocco's got time, but he doesn't like being one behind. So Marty Jones leading Mark Rocco, one fall at L at the start of the fourth round. Five to go. He's going to bring out a few punches now, Rocco. There's just no sign at all of Mark Rocco's seven-hour back operation, the way he's fighting here today. Remarkable recovery. He was at death's door for four days when he was in the hospital. Intensive care for three weeks. And there he is, tough as always. What a comeback. And taking on a man over a stone heavier than he is. And one of the best in the world. No count here because he was illegal, illegal put out there, so. The referee, Frank Casey, doesn't bother to count that one. Oh. 
Tries to stop him getting under that top rope. They're both on the top. <laughs> Two minutes, 16 seconds, a round four. And Rocco gets the equalizing fall, which could have been a knockout. And here it is, how it happened. He catches that beautifully caught, that uh, tackle by Rocco. There's the pile driver. And while he's still weakened for the pile driver, Rocco goes for the cross press, and that's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, in two minutes and 16 seconds, it's the equalizer of the match to the maniac, rollable Mark Rocco. Right. Well, Mark Rocco has got the uh, equalizing fall, but I think he's paid for it a little by the look of his forehead. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute. It's wiping the blood away, not too worried. Seconds away, round five. He had a... He had a damaged forehead tissue for a long time, actually, so he, it does bleed from there a bit uh, quickly. It now. So the fight goes on, but it's the end, whether they like it or not. So Lee Bamber, our MC, will try and get a word in in a minute and explain to us exactly what has happened. A double disqualification, or maybe just Jones disqualified. We're not sure at ringside here. The referee's decision, Marty Jones is disqualified! So no contest. The both men attacking the referee were both disqualified. One fall each draw then. For attacking the fall. He hit me in the head, he the head up. Come on, the land of those guys. Both of you attack the referee, both disqualified. So double disqualification, no scoring there, one fall each draw. Ref, this bit of blood doesn't worry me one little bit. I'm not ready to stop yet. You leave the ring, and let's carry on without a referee. Let's carry on without a referee. I don't need no referees. And Jones will be your blood flowing next time. Let's carry on. Hey, Rocco. Rocco. Rocco well, demanding one more round. This ring back to the dressing rooms and take a good look at myself. You get in the dressing rooms and take a look at yourself. You're bleeding like a stuffed pig. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to carry on, if you want to carry on, Rocco, that'll do for me fine. As long as this referee and MC step out of the ring, I will play you at your own game. Here we go. So it doesn't look like it's over yet. The referee is out of the ring. And the MC is out of the ring. And the bell goes for one final round, which they both demanded. I've never seen this happen before. And it's going to happen outside the ring, most of it, I think. On the way back to the dressing room, Rocco goes back to the dressing room now, chased by Jones. I think finally they've decided to call it quits, have they? Just by the door of the hall here on the way to the dressing room. Not quite sure yet. Rocco wants him outside. Jones wants him in here. He wants Rocco in here. Well, that's a curious finish to about, if it is the finish. So I think they've gone to the dressing room now. Maybe that's the end of that bout finally. Still a double disqualification, one for each draw.